surface. They can't detect everything from not. the radar at 90 not. miles away. Of so, not. yeah, I mean, if you can do so safely. This is good. Yeah, this exactly. Good. Great training ongoing there. Of course, that's occurring in Tyler tonight and in Tyler this evening, we got mostly clear skies, so not too much to complain about as far as the weather is concerned. It is relatively mild outside. We got another cool night ahead of us, and it was a cool night earlier this morning. I should say it was a cool night last night. Maybe that's a better way to say it. Those lows were in the 50s and 60s, so it was a cool and crisp start. And folks, get outside, enjoy this weather while it lasts, because for this weekend, looks like the, the humidity is going to be on the up and up. Temperature wise, we are in the 80s for our northern counties. Dangerfield's at 83. It's 85 in Jefferson. Marshall at 82. It's 84 at the East Texas Regional Airport. 87 in Overton. More low to middle 80s across the board for our central counties. And then additional 80s for deep east Texas Crockett. I've got you guys at 86. It's 89 in Elkhart and we've got some 90s in near Palestine and Anderson County dew points though. I mean, this is the real deal folks. I mean, when these dew points are in the upper 40s and lower 50s, it feels great to be out and about and it's going to be a great evening because those temperatures will be falling in the lower 60s by tomorrow morning. Those clear skies, they will persist through tomorrow afternoon. We'll hit 90, plenty of sunshine around it will remain warm. Here's satellite and radar. Very dry for us. There's a front out in the Gulf of Mexico, so that has brought in that drier air and this isn't just for us here in East Texas. Most of the Lone Star State is looking at that dry air right now. Dew points in the 50s and 60s and the most humid air, of course, down by the Gulf Coast to the south of I-10 there. And then as we look at the future cast moisture, I have fast forward this to Saturday at about two o'clock. Now look at your dew points there back into the upper 60s and lower 70s so that humidity will ultimately climb. I just don't think we're going to have any precipitation station which tends to occur if you have some type of boundary sweeping down. The issue is we don't have a boundary or cold front or anything, so rain chances they are going to be very slim through Sunday and Monday of next week when that humidity is high. But along the Gulf Coast, we do have a couple of disorganized showers and thunderstorms in the Gulf of Mexico, but you look further out to the east, this is where the main action is happening in the tropics. Medium chance that this tropical wave develops before it gets to the Lesser Antilles. Low chance that this tropical wave wave that just emerged off the coast of Africa and develops into something remaining inactive for us both tropically and in our area as well as we look at the next six to ten days from a temperature standpoint looks like those high temperatures will be in the 90s and again rain chances slim to none over the next several days however humidity will increase by the weekend with those lows only in the lower 70s by then deep east Texas similar trend 90s across the board Neil hi up next, sports.